there were times when it was difficult being a student, a woman student, the first at the college. Acts that men could carry out, uh, like being nice to other people and trying to help people, um, were interpreted by some of my colleagues, some of the students, as me trying to be mother. Um, it, 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 it becomes very difficult sometimes. I have a very high soprano singing voice. Um, I speak quite high. Uh, uh, my tone is quite a high one. That's seen as being strident. Yes? Whereas it's just how I am. I'm a female. Um, there were times when there was a decision made that I would only work in, the, in West London Synagogue. And that became a bit stultifying sometimes because Rabbi Grin was worried about me taking too much part on the Bima. I mean, this was, of course, when I wasn't sure if I was going to be a rabbi anyway. But students were allowed normally to take services and things. And I had done so as a teenager. But he was very worried about this. I was very much kept with the children's services, which I adored. I mean, I love kids, so that was fun. Um, but sometimes my fellow colleague, my fellow students would invite me to go and take services elsewhere. Uh, and one I remember, I, I went down, I better not mention the community. It was a liberal community, uh, a very liberal community, actually. And I, I went down to take the service and they had the custom of bringing in parading in their Torah at the beginning of the service because they were an itinerant community and for many years they had to and everybody liked it so they kept it and at the beginning of the service they asked me would I like to carry the Torah in and I looked at this Torah it was huge I said no 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 please you, you carry it I'm, I'm not tall enough so they carried it in and they had the practice of reading Torah Friday night so, of course, I read Torah, and you have to move it to read it. And the chair came over to me afterwards and said, we'd had a vote as to whether or not you were allowed to touch the Torah. And there had been a small majority in favour. But I'm so pleased, he said, you didn't touch it. So I wasn't going to tell him I had. But I saw his wife killing herself laughing. So I went over afterwards and said, what, what are you laughing at? What was the joke? She said, we take the Torah home every week. Who does he think lifts up, up and dusts underneath it?